How would you know that you're experiencing the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis? What is an autoimmune condition of your body? Definitely nobody likes to have a constant pain throughout the body. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic inflammatory disorder that can affect more than just the joints. This disorder in some people can affect various body systems where it is including the skin, eyes, lungs, heart, and blood vessels. But how is it that a swelling can cause bone erosion and deformity in our joints? Welcome to Beyonce channel. In this video, we will not only talk about the causes and main symptoms, but also the list of the main factors that increase the risk of rheumatoid arthritis and more. Now keep watching to find out those additional tips on the best arthritis treatments. But before that, make sure to subscribe to Beyonce and hit the notification so you won't miss any of our videos like this. As we all know, new medications have managed to improve treatment options to a great extent. However, severe rheumatoid arthritis without prompt treatment can cause physical disabilities. Early rheumatoid arthritis first affects the smallest joints, especially those that connect the fingers with the hands and the toes with the feet. As the disease progresses, the symptoms spread to the wrist, knees, ankles, elbows, hips, and shoulders. It is also essential to know that in the vast majority of cases, symptoms occur in the same joints on both sides of the body. However, about 40% of people with rheumatoid arthritis also experience signs and symptoms that do not involve joints. Rheumatoid arthritis can affect many non-articular structures including the skin, eyes, lungs, heart, kidney, salivary glands, nerve tissue, bone marrow, and blood vessels. Symptoms of this chronic condition vary from person to person and can change from day to day. Bouts of RA symptoms are called flare-ups and inactive periods when symptoms are less noticeable are called remission. Now the main signs of rheumatoid arthritis especially include joints sensitive to palpation, hot and swollen, joint stiffness that generally worsens in the morning and after inactivity, tiredness, fever and loss of appetite. Rheumatoid arthritis occurs when the immune system attacks the synovium which is the lining of the membrane surrounding the joints. The resulting inflammation thickens the synovium which can eventually destroy the cartilage and bone within the joint. The tendons and ligaments that hold the joint together weaken and stretch. Gradually, the joint loses its shape and alignment. Doctors don't know what starts this process, although it seems likely to be a genetic component. While genes don't cause rheumatoid arthritis, they can make you more vulnerable to environmental factors such as infections with certain viruses and bacteria which can trigger the disease. The following are the main factors that contribute to the causes and can increase the risk of rheumatoid arthritis. Number 1. Your sex or gender Women are most likely than men to develop rheumatoid arthritis. Number 2. Your age Rheumatoid arthritis can occur at any age but most often begins in the middle age. Number 3. Family History If a family member has rheumatoid arthritis, the risk of suffering from the disease may be higher. Number 4. Smoking Cigarette smoking increases the risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis, especially if you have a genetic predisposition to developing the disease. Smoking also appears associated with a greater severity of the disease. Number 5. Environmental Exposure Although poorly understood, some exposures such as asbestos or silica can increase the risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis. And number 6. Obesity People, especially women up to the age of 55, who are overweight or obese appear to be at increased risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis. Unlike the wear and tear damage of osteoarthritis, the rheumatoid arthritis affects the lining of the joints. The inflammation associated with rheumatoid arthritis is what can also damage other important parts of the body. You should also know that rheumatoid arthritis increases the risk of developing other important conditions which will lead us to the next part citing some possible complications. Number 1. Osteoporosis 
Rheumatoid arthritis itself, along with some medications used to treat rheumatoid arthritis, can increase your risk of osteoporosis, an infection that weakens bones and make them prone to fracture. Number 2. Rheumatoid nodules These firm lumps of tissue most often form around the pressure points such as the elbows. However, these nodules can form anywhere in the body including the lungs. Number 3. Dry eyes and mouth People who have rheumatoid arthritis are more likely to develop the so-called Sjogren's syndrome, a disorder that lowers the amount of moisture in the eyes and mouth. Number 4. Infections The disease itself and many of the medications used to fight rheumatoid arthritis can damage the immune system and lead to increased infections. Number 5. Abnormal body composition The ratio of fat to lean mass is often higher in people who have rheumatoid arthritis, even in people who have a normal body mass index. Number 6. Heart problems Rheumatoid arthritis can increase the risk of hardening and blockage of the arteries as well as the inflammation of the sac that surrounds the heart. Number 7. Lung Disease People with rheumatoid arthritis have an increased risk of inflammation and scarring of the lung tissues, which can lead to progressive respiratory distress. Number 8. Lymphoma Rheumatoid arthritis increases the risk of lymphoma, a group of blood cancers that develop in the lymphatic system. Today, there is no measure to help prevent the development of rheumatoid arthritis. However, experts recommend regular physical activity to promote the use of all joints. Furthermore, once rheumatoid arthritis has been diagnosed, they recommend following treatment correctly to prevent the disease from progressing. Although there are no specific tests, the diagnosis of this pathology is relatively simple if the patient goes to the rheumatologist on suspicion of having some of the symptoms described above. During the evaluation, the rheumatologist can carry out a series of complementary examination to facilitate the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. Luckily for you, the diagnosis of this disease is quite simple since it integrates blood test, rheumatoid factor test, Tests to detect antibodies against citrullinated peptides, these are present in two-thirds of arthritis patients. And last, radiographs to detect the presence of erosions. So why keep the pain in the joints if you can follow the certain treatments to face this pathology? Rheumatoid arthritis treatment encompasses two types of drugs, those used to relieve pain and those used to modify the disease in the long term. The latter can be effective in weeks and even months after treatment. The cornerstone of therapy is disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. Among them, the most used is methotrexate. Have you been experiencing joint pain these days? Do you have anything to add or contribute? Let us know in the comment section. You may also check our video about uric acid that may answer to some of your questions related to joint pain and swelling. If you find this video useful, be sure to like and share it with your family and friends. And remember, sharing is a good way to help. Thanks for watching.